Hello traders, this is Elizabeth Belugina and you are watching daily stock market review by Tradimo for Monday, April the 1st. The market sentiment improved at the start of the week and worries about global economic growth slowdown have diminished. The reason was that China uh, announced that manufacturing PMI for March rebounded and managed to beat expectations. And these positive uh, figures sent a good signal to the stock markets all over the world. We can see that Japanese topics 500 uh, opened the week with a gap up, although it is still facing some resistance. European stock indexes also traded in the positive territory, despite the fact that Euro areas manufacturing data came out at the lowest level since 2013. Still, uh, the general uh, optimism of the market and hopes that the European Central Bank will continue its loose monetary policy are helping the stocks to test resistance. As for S&P 500, it is uh, also trading with a gap up and close to resistance in the area of 28.70, where we find highs of January 2018 and advance above this level will open the way up to 29 and 29.50. American market awaits monthly jobs data which um, will be released on Friday. In addition, there are a lot of other economic releases in the United States. Actually, on Monday, we already found out that retail sales plunged by 0.2% and core retail sales declined by 0.4%, while analysts expected increases. That is not a um, good uh, thing. However, with the dovish policy of the Federal Reserve, the market needs more bad releases before it uh, starts to price in uh, rate cuts in the months ahead. So for now, everything seems more or less okay. And if we look at 10-year uh, treasury yields of uh, US government bonds, we will see that here um, the yield found support at 200 day moving 200 week moving average and uh, is rebounding to the upside it means that the markets have become more optimistic and uh, this is in favor of stocks as well in the longer term uh, stocks will be able to um, get to last year's highs and maybe to new highs if they uh, have positive driver that may come from US-China trade talks. The talks resume uh, this week in Washington. Chinese delegation will arrive there on Wednesday. And um, if America and China manage to resolve their trade dispute, that will be a very positive factor for the American stock market. We do not expect a great resolution this week, but it uh, still should take place somewhere in the first half of April. In the meantime, we also await news about Brexit and as British Parliament will vote on alternatives to May's plan on Monday, there will be more discussions on Wednesday and on Thursday Angela Merkel will arrive to Ireland in order to discuss these questions further. The time is running out, so some uh, decisions may take place which will affect the market's risk sentiment as well. If we turn to individual stocks, uh, the main topic here is the performance of Lyft, the ride-sharing company. You can see that um, it is trading for the second day and um, actually the price fell greatly um, by more than 10%. Uh, there was the decline today and it breached the IPO price of $72 per share. And uh, well, uh, this price action surely means that the market is taking profit. There was a great rush into the stock of Lyft and now traders become more sane. This is just start of trading and such moves are quite common after IPOs. So uh, we can't make a lot of 
conclusions here, but clearly the market may have gone a bit too optimistic about Lyft because the company is making losses and it has plenty of competitors. So this is not a clear growth story we can tell easily. Finally, some other stocks, Wells Fargo uh, remains under pressure after its CEO retired. And uh, for now, we do not know who will head the bank. An external person is necessary for uh, the stock to feel any kind of relief here. Apple stocks uh, also um, kind of lack positive momentum so far. Uh, the stock remains supported by 50-day moving average around 189.15. Um, and decline below this level is uh, necessary for bears to pull the price lower. The both um, eye resistance in the area just above 198 and uh, the psychological level of 200. This is all for today. Stay with Tradimo and subscribe to YouTube channel.